subscribing we can't wait it smells great and tonight I'm going to be meal prepping some taco meat so I've got two tablespoons of bacon grease in my skillet heating up I have a medium onion that I've diced up and I'm going to put that in to saute it up good I love that sizzle I'm not going to saute it much because I'm going to put my hamburger in in just a minute and let it brown. But just get it started. Oh, I love the smell of sauteing onions. You know, when the family was here and I was cooking for everybody, they'd come running when they smelled the saute and onions because they knew mama was cooking something good. Alright, so I've got, let's see, two and a quarter pounds of ground beef. Um, that way I've got enough to eat on for several days. You can make this ahead and three to four days, you know, is good to eat on it. You, you know, you can, uh, half the recipe and go with one and a quarter um, pounds of meat if you don't eat this much. I'm probably going to take some to mama. She loves a good old taco salad. Um, so I've got a little color starting on the meat. I can't tell if you can see that or not. Just a little bit of color started. So I'm going to go ahead and start seasoning it while it's cooking. That way it will be seasoned it'll give it the better flavor to season it while it's cooking it. So, first off, um, to Pacho's Picante seasoning, I'm going to do three and a half tablespoons. Again, remember if you cut the recipe, be sure and cut these seasonings too. Alright, so then in this cup, I got a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of cumin, and a teaspoon of hot Mexican chili powder. Alright, and I have some chunky garlic paste. Of course you can use minced garlic, you know, but I just happen to have this in the refrigerator. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of it. And then salt and pepper, of course. That's probably about a quarter teaspoon. and about a half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, so I'm going to add mild diced tomatoes with green chilies and I'm going to leave the juice in because that adds a lot of flavor too. And when you simmer it, you're going to be cooking down all this juice. Okay, so I've got it on medium high heat, around eight, and letting it boil real, you know, bring everything together, boil, and make sure I get the hamburger done. I've got a little bit of bone broth. That's about one ounce of bone broth. So I'm going to do two ounces of bone broth. And once I make sure my meat is done, I'm going to turn it down to about a three and let it simmer for a little while. Okay, I've let it simmer uh, probably about 15, 20 minutes. Mine was wetter than what it usually is. So you judge it by how wet you want yours to be. You know, see it, it doesn't have a whole lot of juice left in it. Then I'm just going to spoon it up into my container here. And I'm going to use on it for the next three, four days. Uh, or I'm going to make a new recipe to put up this weekend.
that you're going to love. Okay, here's the supper I fixed with it tonight. I made me a big old taco salad. I've got lettuce, and I bought a head of lettuce. They're cheaper than buying the bag lettuce and stuff and just cut it up myself. I put about half a cup of the meat mixture on here. I put two tablespoons of salsa and two tablespoons of sour cream, and then about a third of a cup of shredded cheddar cheese underneath so that the heat of the meat mixture will melt it. Oh, I didn't say I put an avocado in here too, did I? All right. Mm. Mm. Better than any Mexican restaurant. <laughs> All right. We'll see y'all later.